The conure is a family of American parrots that includes about 45 different species. Hey my poodle and parrot pals, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome! My name's Sandra and this is Mia who is preening ferociously right now and I am mummy to Lambo and the M&Ms. If you're a dog or parrot lover, you've come to the perfect place. Either you have a conure or you're researching conures or you just want to know more with Mia we are going to share our first fun fact about conures <laughs> so conures are mid to large size parrots and have a beautiful and brightly colored plumage that can be bright yellow and orange or greenish with shades of yellow and blue and other subtypes such as the blue crown conure or the green cheek conure. Fun fact number two, conures are new world parrots. So they originate mostly from the Western hemisphere, namely Central and South America. But another not so fun fact is that conures are endangered. So if you ever have to travel with your conure, you will need CITES paperwork and CITES paperwork is necessary because of that. Some conures are endangered in the wild, largely due to loss of habit and trapping for the pet trade. These conures are no longer as common in their native South America. With the population numbers declining, the sun conure is listed on the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, IUCN, red list of threatened species as endangered. The green cheek, on the other hand, is one of the few listed as a least concerned species on the IUCN red list of threatened species. Because of that, that is also why sun conures are much harder to come by. They are much more endangered. And so it's really, really important to just make sure that when you are deciding on a sun conure, you are doing your research on the right breeder and making sure that they are legitimate. Next cool fun tip is that conures actually have pretty complicated communication methods when they are in the wild. Conures have highly developed communication in wild colonies and they mimic flock members' individual calls. In 2012, Danish researchers did a study on wild orange-fronted conures in Central and South America to learn why parrots are such good mimics. The researchers discovered that conures have a highly developed system of communication that allows them to quickly imitate flock members' individual calls. They surmise that each parrot is a, in a flock and encounters new members each day as birds join and leave the flock. So communication might actually be a way of negotiating inclusion into a flock. If you have a conure, leave a comment below and let us know what sounds your conure mimics. Fun fact number five, conures have white eye rings. So as Mia shows you here, she's got beautiful white eye rings. And all conure species have white rings around their eyes known as a naked eye ring. Parrots have an upper eyelid, lower eyelid, and a nictating membrane known also as their third eyelid. The nictating membrane, or the third eyelid, is a translucent layer covering the entire eye, enabling birds to keep their eyes moist and the cornea protected from damage while still seeing perfectly. Did you also know that parrots will blink slowly to display affection, trust, happiness, and safety? Since we're talking about conure's eyes and parrot's eyes, of all the avian senses, their color vision in particular is spectacular. Birds have more cones and many, including our parrots, are able to see ultraviolet colors. Also, birds can use their right and left eyes for different tasks and their brains can literally focus on two things at once. Next fun fact about conures is that they can camouflage. 
maybe Sun Conyers can't camouflage as well as a Green Cheek Conyer, but Mia has definitely camouflaged in our home and amongst her toys many times where I have to do like a double or triple take to see where she is. Conyers nest in tall treetops and have camouflage to protect them from predators. Conyers are great dancers. If you're a dancer, a singer, you love music, you love being silly, then Conyers are great because they are great dancers and they are very playful and they will join in with you. There are four types of most common Conyers and those are Sun Conyers, Green Cheek Conyers, Jende Conyers, and Maroon Belly Conyers. Conyers and parakeets have zygodactyl claws. This means that two point forward and two point back. This helps them climb in all directions and cling onto vertical surfaces. A parakeet's claws are just like your fingernails. Because they have two claws forward and two claws backwards, it allows them to have a better grip. Brings me to the next point, which is that parrots, including Conyers, eat with their feet. Their feet are like their hands and their feet. They use them to walk, but they also use them to eat. All birds have amazing grip, but only parrots are able to hold food up to their beak while eating. This one is a cute fact. Parrots are actually huge romantics because they stick with one mate for their lifetime. Once a male and a female parrot get together, then they generally stay together even outside of the breeding season. The only time they go their separate ways is if they fail to produce young or if their partner dies. It's down to the male parrot to woo the female. Once birds find a mate, they forage together, they sleep together, and they groom each other. Did you know that parrots are omnivores? So that means that they eat veggies and they also eat meat. Parrots love seeds and they could happily munch on these all day long. They also like to eat flowers, fruit, and insects. And even though they're omnivores, you don't need to feed your pet parrot meat as they're more happy with yummy fruit and veg. Did you know that a group of parrots is called a pandemonium? The word pandemonium also means wild and noisy, which perfectly describes a group of parrots. Let me leave you with one little tip. If you're thinking about getting a conure or you're interested in conures and wanna know if this would be a great addition into your family, then Conyers or parrots overall are a great pet if you are someone who works from home or you spend a lot of time at home, you don't mind noise and loudness, and you also don't mind giving your bird a lot of attention throughout the day and just spending time with them. If you have any more cool or fun parrot or conure facts that I missed, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for a good vibe, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram for dang a lot of cuteness.